All right, this is a mock run test of the podcast intro piece. And what we're going to do is we will always, before uh, before we proceed with discussions, we will always present arms because we all have arms, most of us. Um, just for the sake of topic, I have a Kimber 45 ACP Ultra Carry 2. And I am discharged and unarmed. This is Mr. Feathers, discharging and unarming. Uh, I'm presenting for the evening a Browning High Power. As you can see, it is clear. It is clear indeed. This is Michael Cavino. I'm presenting a Glock 17. It's discharged and clear, as you can see. Right on. Nice. All right, boys, um, first topic of discussion for the evening is we have a Facebook page, and there has been discussion about uh, from Kevin Siegel, who I'm sure he won't mind if I name drop him, um, has said that did, did we hear about what's going on in Michigan, or not Michigan, I'm sorry, Massachusetts, with uh, the, the firearms thing, I said, and I, I'm like, I didn't know. I have not. So I had to go look it up. And apparently what they're doing is they're trying to violate Amendment 5. Um, they are doing a bump stock ban. Oh, uh, that's been coming. And what they plan on doing is they want everyone to surrender said bump stocks without giving them any kind of compensation for the surrender. Well, I mean, just as far as if you want our opinions upon it, you know, I mean compensation non-compensation i don't particularly care it's unconstitutional and i don't agree with any aspect of it whatsoever yeah so it was kind of cool to like i had no idea what was going on so it forced me to go look it up and to be a part of the world yeah educate myself um hey we need to tell the people what what whiskey we are brought indeed. to us tonight a uh, quick backstory uh this whole started with the untimely passing of <laughs> my dog um, and through sympathies and whatever, we decided that we were just going to get together and drink. And then we did that. And then a week later, we did it again um, for other unnamed reasons at this time. We can name them. We can name them? We can name them. All right. Um, at least uh, our dogs are still working. For, no, the, for the lack of a better term, um, somebody got cheated on and uh, in the middle of a divorce. Um which is not cool. So that was the second reason we got together, and then the third reason was, well, why the hell not? Now we're just drinking, and now we're just drinking yeah. and having a and having a recording session. Um, and we had a really cool, you know, discussion last week about you know different um, you know, backstory with whiskey, and then talked about some pop culture stuff with uh, with D and D and Stranger Things, and it was kind of we all thought like we should really do. Um, a podcast of some kind so here we are this is the very infant stages and we have been sipping on for the last uh we'll, we'll just might as well say the month because we missed a week i think is a bottle of jefferson's um straight uh straight bourbon and it says very small batch so and i did look it up they do have a, a larger line than just this and i'm not really privy to what that all is but this is some damn fine whiskey it is damn fine whiskey, and I do have to admit that uh, a lot of the small batch bourbons are definitely not my specialty. I mean, I can tell you this is a good one, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, I'd ha I'll have to look into a little more to the backstory on this myself. You know, um, that's not to say I don't occasionally enjoy a, a good small batch bourbon from time to time. It's just not necessarily my go-to. Yeah. Yeah, I would say for uh, for myself and for Jason, we're kind of more in the Scotch family. But yeah. as Jason was saying, I have been known to enjoy a, a, a small batch bourbon every once in a while. Yeah, no problems with yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. If it's a good not. one. Yeah, well, even if it's not, I mean, depending I, on the occasion. Look, I will I will drink swill. I'm just going to go on record and tell you, I will drink swill. I just don't prefer to, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Um. And we weren't really supposed to be recording this this evening, and who knows, this may reach the airwaves, it may not, depending on how we feel about it. But um, we really don't have an outline for uh, for this particular episode. We That was what we were going to do this evening, was talk about what are we going to talk about, um, and now we're just talking. Yeah. So yeah. I, I would like to, you know, I'm pretty sure where you fall on that. Do you have any 
Where Mr. Siegel brought up something on the Facebook page, and I would like to maybe say this too. Uh, if you do find yourself tuning in to the Wednesday Night Whiskey Committee podcast, and you know there's something you want us to talk about, absolutely, yeah. you know, let us know. Get on the fa- get on the Facebook page. Do what the uh, you know. Tweet us. You can get yeah, us on. Tweet uh, us. Right. You can get us on email at Wednesday Night Whiskey uh, at Gmail dot com. Uh, we are on the tweet box at uh, Wed Night Whiskey dot Twitter dot HP dot right. com. Not Stop. wedding night whiskey. Not, yeah. not wedding night whiskey. <laughs> wed. Dot, More details to follow on right, wedding night whiskey. Else, right. I can't speak. Um, wed night whiskey is our Twitter handle. Uh, you can find us on Instagram at uh, Wednesday Night Whiskey. Um, we'll be posting some pictures and trying to get some tweets out and yeah. posting. The Facebook page is going to be a lot of just uh, the catch-all for like inter- um, things that interest us and articles and things of that nature. Um, it doesn't have to be whiskey or no. spirits. It doesn't have to be guns. It can be no. what video game are you playing this video week? What, are you, what music are you listening music, to? Musical topics. Yeah, are, uh, being that uh, the three of us are musicians right. and, right. and, every, and, and calibers, so uh, we will definitely be talking about that at certain points. And Yeah, or if there's just something that you think we – might enjoy exploring, you know. Yeah, we'll uh, do some know. research. I'm not afraid to do some work. Yeah, so we're all, we're all have, nerds. Have too. microphone. Yeah. We'll read. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so, Mr. Siegel asked us about the uh, the bump stock situation in Massachusetts. I, you know, said that I'm just pretty much not a fan of that at all. I have no I have no opinion on that particular issue, but I do have an opinion on taking away our rights as Americans. Okay. Because yeah. we do live right. in one of the greatest countries in the world and i don't think that it's okay to just pass laws as you will to uh rescind those rights no so, uh, that particular issue i was not privy to and um i'm just like i said i'm not a fan of just taking away someone's rights well you know i think the way that it happens is we we uh i i think that for myself, obviously, I mean, you know, I'm no constitutional scholar. You know, I might have minored no, in poli-sci, but any, uh, in any sense of the word. Uh, at, at any rate, uh, I think the Second Amendment is very clear, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think that what happens is, is we we constantly redefine portions of it yeah. to suit a particular agenda, and or just a very small segment of things. Like for for example, right now. This whole bump stock thing is being tied into a larger sort of uh, issue that's that's going uh, sweeping the trend right now of a rate increasing device. Right. Right. And you know, I we could get into various different you know firearms acts over the years or whatever, but what's really happening is we're we're sort of piecemealing our rights away. Right. We're we've got the okay. We're going to draw the line here right now. But now that that line gets drawn, you know, down the road, we're going to draw a new line. Right. And then we're going to draw a new line. And I just really think that's a dangerous, slippery slope. I agree. I agree. You know. And I think a lot of it is the, the lawmakers and uh, whether it be from the right or the left trying to put blame on some of the really unfortunate events that have happened in our country. Right. But when it comes down to it, it has nothing to do with the laws as they are written it has nothing to do with the bill of rights nothing to do with no, the first second no. third fourth fifth amendment it has to do with the individuals involved and sure you can't really you can't really adjust well, archaic laws to to fit into that no, agenda there's there's certain things as well i mean uh let's look at we're never ever going to legislate we will never be find ourselves in a utopia right, right? There's all. There are always going to be unfortunate incidences. Right. We can try to minimize them, but it, there's a certain can of worms that we open to the point where we say like, are our restrictions to our freedoms causing us more harm than good, when weighed against the idea of now myself I'm an idealist I'm really not much of a prag- pragmatist so for me the weight of what causes more harm than good is you know I'm no utilitarian right per se so I mean I'm more of an ideologue so I'm not going to I, I don't like the idea of giving in one little bit right. on the idea. But even if I wanted to look at it from a more pragmatic side for a little bit, we're, we're going to find that you know we're, we're never going to have a utopia. Right. We're never going to be able to legislate this away. Uh, by definition, anybody who commits one of these acts is not paying attention to the laws. Right. 
And, and you know, so, it, and, and every time this happens, how many laws have been broken on the road to it? Right. One more law is not going to yeah. change mm -hmm. one thing, you know. Yeah. So I think for Mr. Siegel's sake, I think we've sort of yeah. yeah and the one thing I, I'll uh, I'll touch on that real fast with a with a statistic, um, because of and I, from what I understand, Massachusetts um, has some of the most strict gun restrictions of the mm. of the states. Yeah. Um, and they in fact. Um, I think since 2015, I think it was, um, have the less or um, the fewest uh, <coughs> accidental um, gun deaths or you know things right, things right, of right. that nature. Um, so on one hand, like yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But on the other hand, like who are you, who whose rights are you sacrificing to do that? Um, yeah, and uh, allow me one second. I want to. I want to consult something. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice to have these statistics, but at the same time, there's a lot of factors that go into these statistics that we can cherry pick statistics exactly. all day long as well. You know, um, and I just want to uh, double check one thing here before I speak out of turn. Um, yeah, I thought so. Um, uh, Smith Smith and Wesson Corporation, based in Massachusetts. Yeah. Savage Arms Manufacturing, based in Massachusetts. You know, others. Two of the biggest gun companies in the country, right? Mm. So, that state is profiting, I'm sure, very heavily. Uh, you know, of taxation, and uh, everybody who works at those factories um, is, you know, probably paying some kind of income tax. Mm -hmm. You know, so that on one hand, that state is profiting very heavily on the fact that they allow the manufacture of those weapons there, but yet they're going to be completely restrictive, uh, you know, on, on the way that they're going to implement the policies of that. I, I find that there's a little subtle irony and yeah. a little bit of hypocrisy maybe going on in that well, situation. The nation was founded on hypocrisy, unfortunately. <laughs> That's, so. very, that's <laughs> very true, very true. Uh. So hopefully that... Hopefully that wets your whistle there, Kevin, that discussion as far as... Uh, yeah, and hey, I, we're open to dialogue. If you yeah. agree or disagree... Yeah, exactly. So we're not right. right. We don't consider ourselves right. We have opinions. And yeah. At least send I us, uh, send us uh, your love. Send us your hate, whatever. And I said uh, right. Wednesday Night Whiskey at gmail.com. Right. Uh, reach us on uh, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, Facebook is The Whiskey, or The Wednesday Whiskey... <laughs> the Wednesday, Wednesday Whiskey... Good Lord. Wednesday so, night. Yeah, I'm done. So the what's Wednesday happen? night whiskey <laughs> committee. There, there, I got there it will out. be links in, be links. in the show yeah, notes. There will be you links. won't have to rely on Jay. Yeah, please <laughs> please don't ever rely on me. I'm, <laughs> I am unreliable. That's the best. whiskey talking. That is yeah. the whiskey. The damn good Jeffersons is what that is. 